All right, so what the heck's going on with our power station? <laughs> I've been mentioning this in a few other videos, trying to figure out what is going on. I'm only getting like 153 watts out of 400 watts of solar panels. Now, clearly, you don't. If you know about solar panels, you never really get the rated power out of them. That's like under ideal conditions. That's ideal temperature, ideal angle to the sun, which doesn't happen too often on an RV or a van. You can try and angle your panels, but honestly, you're still only going to get. It's a hassle, and you're only going to get the right angle just so often. There are big systems where they have motors on them, they rotate the array to track the sun, but as a practical matter, you put them on a van or RV, you're getting, you're, you're kind of limited that way because you're not always facing right at 90 degrees to the sun like you want to be. So you, there's a lot of factors that come in there. Uh, like I said, heat, angle to the sun, um, uh, age of the panels, as they age, they lose efficiency. And these are pushing 10 years old. So I didn't expect to get 400 watts out of it, but I thought I'd get 300 or 320 maybe or something like that. But 153 is way low. And I tested all the panels. They were putting out 72 watts per panel. I put two of them together in parallel, which keeps the voltage at 12 volts nominal. It's actually like 21 volts. Put them together and two of them together, I'd have 150, 152 watts. Put the other two together, 150, 152 watts. Put four of them together, and I get less than 160 watts. 160 was the absolute peak maximum. So I upgraded the cable from the 10 gauge I'd bought on Amazon, so it was the biggest I could find, to an 8 gauge, which I had, but I needed to get connectors for, MC4 connectors for. Made a few watt gain, but not much. So finally I said, okay, I wonder if I got to put these things in series, boost the voltage to make the power station happy. So I look up the specs, the power station will take from between 11 and 60 volts. Well, if I put four of these in series, we're gonna be at like 80 some volts. So we're gonna be over volt for the power stations. So what I did was I put them in a series parallel combination. So the two here are in series, the two on this side are in series, then they're paralleled from there. So that boosts it to like 42 or 43 volts and probably 10, 11 amps coming in and of course it's cloudy so <laughs> I can't really test it very well but we were still getting a little better than uh, normal the sun tried to break out a little it was still behind the clouds but it was a brighter so I plugged it back in to check and we we're hitting just breaking 200 watts which is a huge improvement that's with partial cloud cover still so pretty heavy cloud cover so we're gonna retest it as soon as the sun actually breaks out. According to the weather, we might get a break in that this afternoon still. Otherwise, it might be tomorrow before I can really test it for good. But I think we, that might be the conundrum. So I'm recording this video partly because I know some of you are curious how we made out with this because I've been banging my head against a wall with this challenge. And, I, and I've Googled this. I've looked on, on a, this is a Blue Eddy power station. I've looked on their, their website. I just couldn't find the details on this. So it was kind of a, a little bit of a mystery. So I thought I'd record this and share it for in case, just in case you were curious or in case you have a power station and you're running into a similar situation where it's just not working like you think it should. So in this case, I had to do a series parallel combination with the solar panels because parallel was only getting half the power I wanted. Series would have overvolted. It wouldn't have worked right either. Hopefully it just would have limited the input but it might have completely shut down or it might have damaged the power station potentially so i don't want to take a chance on that so i think we might have the problem solved so that's uh, that's why i'm recording this so in case you run into something similar uh you know or if you know somebody's running into something similar point of this video maybe it'll give them a clue in the right direction the big difference there okay parallel you're going to connect positive to positive to positive to positive negative to negative to negative to negative and you stay your voltage remains the same but your amperage increases so again this is a nominal 12 volt system that means the nominal is like its name only thing right it's like in your car it's a 12 volt electrical system but it actually probably puts out 13.4 or 13.8 volts the series thing that's when you're connecting positive to negative and that sounds counterintuitive uh, it makes you think you're going to blow the battery up or something right or blow up a solar panel. So you take your panels, you're connecting positive off one panel to a negative, positive to negative. And what you do then is every time you do that, you're boosting the voltage. So if you have two panels wired in series, instead of having 12 volts nominal, 20, 21 volts actual, you end up with 
42 or 43 volts actual. And this current stays the same. So if you do four of them, then you're gonna be like over 80 volts and that's too much for this system. But your amperage will still be the same. Because of the combination series in parallel, by combining them in this way, we double the voltage to like 43 volts. And the amperage is only the equivalent of two panels instead of the four panels if we had them all in parallel. And it seems like this power station is happy now. I hope that's the case. <laughs> We're gonna test it a little more uh, as soon as the sun actually comes out, but we got a mix of light, well, moderate clouds and heavy clouds rolling through. It's supposed to be thunderstorms coming later. So it's probably like the worst day to do this, but I just last night kind of decided on my next step. And so this is what I decided to do this morning. And I think we're on to something now. So we'll test it again. I'll be back with you as soon as we actually get good, bright sun, midday sun, and we'll see how much juice we're getting out of this thing. It was charging, it just wasn't charging like it should have been. And I wanna get the most out of it I can with the system we got. So we have the most power to work with. And, and most importantly, I basically want the thing to stay pretty well charged up most of the time. Running the fridge all night, and it's a 60 quart fridge. Uh, it's, it's set pretty cold and it's not very full, which are not optimal conditions. And run it, but running the fridge all night, we're waking up to like 82% battery capacity so if we can go into the night 100% charged we should be in really good shape in the morning we're adding in more power stations so we're gonna have a several power station system in this truck so watch for that there'll be more videos coming about that but right now the mystery is getting this power station with the main power station in here working as efficiently as possible all right the sun just partially broke out so I plugged this back in I've had it unplugged so I could drain it down so I could get a good idea on the charge we're breaking 200 watts, even with pretty heavy cloud cover and just a little bit of sun trying to break out. The best I could get out of this thing with the, the panels all wired in parallel was 160 watts. Usually it was like 153 was the highest it would go. So we're breaking 200 even with cloud cover. So I think we might have our problem solved here. And of course, 400 watts of panels, you never would actually get 400 watts out of there, except for in theoretical best case conditions with 90 degree angle to sun to the roof which is a challenge on RVs, obviously. And these panels are also almost 10 years old, so they do lose some efficiency over time. So, And ambient temperature factors into charging efficiency. So that's a good sign. So I'm optimistic, obviously, when the sun's truly hitting it and it's not cloudy, it should be even higher. So I think we got the problem solved here, finally. That's good. That's encouraging. But I'm going to go ahead and unplug it again. I just plugged it in quick so I could see if we're getting anything better with partial sun and we'll uh, try it again later today if we do get some good sun or else we'll try it tomorrow when the sun's out for real and this will be a little bit depleted. I want it a little depleted because if it's at like uh, 90, 95%, the battery management system is going to slow down the charge it takes in because it, to, to maintain the uh, peak condition of the battery, it's going to adjust the charge. Your cell phone does the same thing. It'll charge faster, and then it slows down as it gets towards uh, being fully charged to maintain the condition of the battery. So we'll come back at it, but if it's depleted a bit, it'll charge faster. I'll, I'll be able to see what the maximum I can actually pull out of these things is. And, of course, if everything's working like I think it's going to be now, I'll go tidy some stuff up there on the roof, put on some cable lamps and stuff, get everything pretty and secured nicely. Once I'm sure it's all working like I think it should be working, so. All right, next day here, 47%. We've been running the fridge and uh, all, all, since yesterday, and we have mostly sun today. It's kind of, a, there are some clouds up there kicking it out. So I'm gonna plug this back in and see, see if we can get some good idea of uh, how much power we're actually getting out of these panels now that we've got them wired in series and in parallel and it seems to be happy the power station seems to be happier 278 266 250 this is going to bounce around a little because of the mixed scattered clouds up there okay okay 285 whoops wake that back up again 288 i'd love to see a break 300 at least but uh this is a heck of an improvement over 130 something or 150 something watts coming in so we've uh We've pretty much doubled the power we got coming in. So I think we solved the problem. It was a bit of a mystery. I do wish this was more obvious. Uh, <laughs> and when I look up the specs on this thing, what we were doing 
with everything in parallel was within specs for what this thing should take. That's why I wanted to make this video because I figured, you know, some of you guys uh, might run into something similar and you might be banging your head against the wall just like I have been. Like, why is 400 watts of solar panels only getting 160 watts or less into the power station? And even under full midday sun. That was I was testing that on a day when it was clear blue skies. The sun was directly overhead, and it should have been really uh, cranking it out. So we're coming in, you know, 280. So this this is I'll keep an eye on it today, this afternoon. Uh, next as as the clouds come and go, I want to see what it actually gets up to for a peak. But we've pretty much doubled the input, so I'm I'm very happy about that. That's uh, this this should work well for us for uh, meeting our power needs in conjunction with a couple of other ones. We're gonna be running a couple smaller ones as well. So, All right, we'll check back a little later as I have a chance to watch this thing more and see how it goes. And of course, this does have an app with it, so I can actually, we're inside the trailer right now, you know, most of the day, you know, so I can check on the app and monitor it from inside. All right, so I've been keeping an eye on this thing and well, I'll just drop back down to 300 and under because I turned the camera on, but We've been hitting 340s, 343, 349 watts at one point. So uh, the cloud, the sun is in and out of the clouds today is the problem. So when it broke out good, we were getting almost 350 watts. And I'm actually very happy with that out of 400 watts of panels. That's a pretty acceptable. Um, uh, you see it dropping down now because the sun's hiding behind clouds again. But that's going to be today it's just the way it is but when the sun does come out we're getting you know pushing 350 watts and i can live with that that's that's pretty good numbers